Hi, my name is Alex Angelis. I'm a cybersecurity TSA at Cisco. And today in this video, we will look on how to monitor and control email DLP breach with Cisco SecureX. Cisco SecureX is a platform that offers great visibility, investigation, and response capability on security event for Cisco security solution and much more. It's free of charge. It includes dashboard for visibility, graphical representation of observable for investigation, and an orchestration tool to automate response. So let's start the demo by diving into Tom Desktop. Tom's wants to send credit card number to an external partner. Unfortunately, he's not aware of a corporate policy that restricts this type of data to be exchanged via email. But Tom is willing to take the chance. Let's go back to Cisco Secure X and move to Cisco Secure Email Quarantine and wait until the email gets trapped by the outgoing DLP policy. This detection has triggered the execution of an orchestration workflow in SecureX. This workflow consists of three sections. First, information are retrieved from the email. External information are fetched and database access are done. And finally, response action is executed. Last action is to create a secure X casebook with all detailed information of this security breach so it can be shared with the security analyst. For the first occurrence, Tom received an email from the orchestration tool with the detail of the data breach. Unfortunately, Tom does not understand what he is doing wrong. And he tries to send again an email including a credit card number. The second email from Tom has been trapped again by Cisco Secure Email DLP policy. And the orchestration workflow is triggered for the second time. This time, local database is updated email are sent to Tom, but also to his manager. And a secure X casebook is created with all detail. So now let's move to the manager email. An email has been received with the detail of the second occurrence of the DLP policy violation. We can assume that this manager will try to contact Tom to talk about this. Unfortunately, the manager of Tom was not able to reach him at that time. And despite the second warning email from Cisco Secure X orchestration, Tom wants to try for a last time. This last email is also detected by the DLP outgoing policy on the Cisco Secure email. Secure X workflow is triggered. And since this is the third occurrence, an API call is sent from SecureX to lock down Tom's account in Azure AD. Of course, Casebook is created as well with all different details from this third occurrence. And also it include the automate action that was applied to mitigate that potential threat. Part of the third occurrence of the workflow Tom's manager received an email again, but this time include information about action that was applied. Now let's move to Azure portal to make sure that Tom's account is now disabled. Tom Azure AD account is now disabled and hopefully he now understand the gravity of his action. I hope this was informative for you. This is Alexandre Angeris. Thanks for watching.